Evaluating expressions using algebra tiles. We'll start off by asking the question, how can we use algebra tiles to help us to understand and evaluate algebraic expressions? Now, we have to be aware that algebraic expressions include three possible things. One of them is a variable, which usually is represented by the letter x. Next is an operator, that's just adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. And finally, some number, some value, anything that you would find on the number line. So some examples of algebraic expressions include x plus 6, 3x minus 1, 5 minus x, and 8x plus 14. So before we start using algebra tiles, let's think about how $1 is the same thing as 4 quarters. So we can think of a $1 bill as a representation of 4 coins that are each worth 25 cents. Algebra tiles work in a very similar way, so now we're going to go ahead and extend this thinking to evaluating algebraic expressions. So to represent our variable x, we're going to use an algebra tile that is a green rectangle. If we wanted to represent 2x, we would need two green rectangles. And if we wanted to represent 3x, we would need three rectangles so on and so forth. Now, a value of positive 1 is represented by a blue square algebra tile. So if we wanted to represent positive 2, we would use two blue squares. If we wanted to represent positive 5, we would use five blue squares. So it's pretty simple here. Each one represents positive 1. However, if the sign was negative, so if we wanted to represent negative 1, we would have to use a red square. So to represent negative 3, we would use 3 red squares. If we wanted to represent negative 6, we would use 6 red squares. Now we know that positive 1 plus a negative 1 is equal to 0. Basically, they cancel each other out. So in terms of algebra tiles, positive 1 is represented by one blue square, negative 1 is represented by one red square, and again, if I combine those two, 1 plus negative 1 will equal 0. So in this case, with algebra tiles, they will cancel each other out and effectively disappear. So for example, if we wanted to use algebra tiles to represent 7 minus 3, we can rewrite this as 7 plus negative 3 and then model it using tiles. I'll replace positive 7 with 7 blue squares, and I'll replace negative 3 with three red squares. Now I can pair up the combos of one blue square and one red square when I combine this. So by pairing those up, I know that a combo of positive one and negative one is going to become zero and cancel out. And what I'm left with here is four blue squares. So I can say that seven plus negative three is equal to positive four. Oh yeah. What about two minus five? I can represent positive 2 with 2 blue squares and negative 5 with 5 red squares. Again, I can pair up any combos of a blue and a red square, which will cancel out. And what I'm left with is 3 red squares, so I can say that 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. So let's use this key to make sure that we're familiar with how to use algebra tiles. Remember that the green rectangle represents x. A blue square represents positive 1, a red square represents negative 1, and a combination of one blue and one red square, 1 plus negative 1 would equal 0, so they cancel each other out. Okay, so let's go ahead now and evaluate some expressions using those algebra tiles. So our first example says to evaluate 2x plus 3 when x is equal to 3. First, we want to model the expression 2x plus 3 using algebra tiles. So first we lay out two x's, and then we lay out positive three. So these algebra tiles now represent that expression two x plus three. The next step is to evaluate this expression for when x is equal to three. So I have to replace each x with a value of three, in this case with three blue squares. And I have to do this for both x values. 
So I'm replacing each green rectangle with three blue squares. So now all we have to do is combine the remaining algebra tiles, which is positive 9, and we can say that 2x plus 3 equals 9 when x is equal to 3. Our next example says to evaluate the expression 3x plus 4 when x is equal to negative 2. So we want to go ahead and model that expression 3x plus 4 using algebra tiles. So we need 3x's and 4 positive 1's, and now we have our model. Next, we know that x is the same thing as negative 2 since x equals negative 2. So I want to replace each x with negative 2, or in this case, 2 red squares. And I do this substitution with all three of the x's. And now we are ready to evaluate for this expression. We can go ahead and combine the red and blue squares, because we know that they'll cancel each other out. So those disappear, put them off to the side, and what we are left with is two negative ones, which we know is just negative two. And we can conclude that the expression 3x plus 4 is equal to negative 2 when the value of x is equal to negative 2. So I highly encourage you to try these problems on your own, either using real algebra tiles. If you don't have any, just use colored markers and just draw the figures out. That works totally fine. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. If you want to see more of our animated YouTube lessons, click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If not, do absolutely nothing. See you.